We're thrilled to be in Leeds for our first ever European co-production weekender. Over two days we've taken 18 UK producers through a series of presentations, case studies and group work in order to teach them about the basics of co-production from sources of finance, treaties and conventions to agreements and legal aspects. Co-production on a simple basis is about getting more funding together for the project but it actually is the door to so much more. The creative cross-pollination that comes from working with tons of different people from different countries. If you play it right, it, suddenly one plus one makes more than two. You can make the best of both worlds. You can really have uh, two countries participating in making the best uh, thing possible. You have somebody who can tell you all oh, this this is not uh, directly accessible for us, we don't understand this part of the story, or why don't you add this perspective? So you can enhance stories uh, without making them less local, because I happen to think that stories can be very local and still very interesting for international audiences. You always need to raise more money for film, but also it feels, especially in times like today, the more we can be working with partners in other countries it feels like politically I like the idea of that as well. We really think this event is important because we want to see the creative and collaborative links between the UK and rest of Europe uh, endure the turbulence of Brexit. We want to give producers the tools necessary to collaborate with their European counterparts and to show the UK's commitment to co production. I just really wanted to learn a lot more about the co-production landscape, both uh, from the perspective of being a majority uh, producer and co-financing through co-production with Europe, also to work out what I can offer productions that might want to come to the UK as a minority co-producer, and that sense of wanting to reach out and make ourselves uh, open and welcoming. It was nice to hear the things that I felt were instinctively important within co-production. So things like be fair and be reasonable and um, you know it's only a co-production if you feel as though you have a good working relationship. So um, those kind of things make you feel more confident. Getting the relationships in the room is kind of one of the key things that I think everybody just really, really appreciates and will take forward. The collegiate atmosphere that everybody talks to each other and everybody's sort of trying to work stuff out. We've got lots and lots of information but also some of the anecdotal stuff's really helpful. You can become very professionally lonely as a producer. There are a lot of small companies where you're basically on your own trying to solve problems and it's very important to have somebody to talk to who, who knows uh, the business and who's not directly a competitor. There's so much talent in that room and the idea that that they're applying this to their projects in order to be able to get them out that maybe they mightn't be able to get out because of co-production. I mean, that's amazing.